Welcome back guys. In our previous video, uh, we created an um, address object with uh, Palo Alto REST APIs using Postman. So uh, on this, this video, we are going to create an um, address group. So I have created one uh, address group on each of the firewalls just to be able when we get so we can see uh, the result and then we we'll create one. So if you go to the Palo Alto documentation and we we go to address object and we can go to get so here we can see again as as the previous one you have location which is required and uh, this is coming back here click ok and, and go to our postman we do our URL variable we do a question mark location equal this is and this is equal so authorization we're going to use the api key same as before and that should be it so let's uh let's test it so you can see uh it's been successful the name of the object group that we showed earlier test pa10 and it shows you the two members AWS subnet and AWS tuna one. So we can confirm here AWS subnet, AWS subnet one. And here we have only one AWS. So we can do this and test this as well. So you can see that user is being part of the group. So let's save the other group. And we have this one here as well. So now let's uh, let's create one. Go to documentation and do create address group. We can see that name is required again and location. <clears throat> also, you can see some information here how to do it. Uh, I'll suggest better using usually always get. So you can see the format and then use use that one to create your body. So if I come here and you can see the way it is uh, created, you can get this information from here. I'll duplicate this. And I can call it create address group. All this will be same. The difference will be we have this same as well. So we have to go to body. We need to change this to post. Body row. Change this to JSON. And let's I'll use this so if, if you go to get you can see how it's called like name location obviously we have location uh, uh, added here and uh, this is you can see this is one so they're already here so you need to add the name for this to work so here what we have name we're gonna call it test group one so I need to add this here as well so should be exactly same name equal copy here description i just had time this is a test that's what type is it is it static and which one is the members uh, of, of the group here you can see member again aws
So obviously I can't um, create this this these groups here because it's gonna fail. So I can show you. So it's invalid object. So the reason for is uh, AWS twenty one and the other they no exist on the second firewall. But if we push them to the first firewall, they exist. You can see success. If we come here and we can see there they've been added. Let's say here we know we have uh, two. We have test and test one. For example, we can add this. So we can leave same group if you want to call it same, let's say. The only thing we're going to change is our members. Test and let's go. That should be let's test one. Let's send it here and you can see it's been success. Also now we can go back here without going to the firewall. We can come back here and you can see now it says only uh, this group has been here. If you click send, now we can see the second group has been created and it's been added to the firewall. can see it's been added so that's how you you how that's how you're going to be able to create your uh, apis thank you very much for watching guys and uh, my next video i'm going to show you how to do a, a backup configuration of the firewall using the uh, apis uh, hopefully you enjoyed thank you